everyone welcome to my channel life and style so this is day 7 of the patina i don't see much of a difference and i would still put in a photo of the day 0 patina so that you can see what the difference is after i did few a few steps so i'll talk about that in detail and then i will also talk about what i'm planning to do as a next step what i did was the day 0 when i received this bag i kept this to a window which gets light but the sun does not fall on it directly because if you read the instructions it says that do not keep your bag sunlight for long hours and it also says that prevent uh, using any ointment any alcohol or any water on the raw leather so in order to prevent these stainings i planned to have the patina on this bag uniformly and so that's one of the reasons that i was planning to clean this with a wet wipe and then keeping it near the window so that it kind of gets its own texture it has that smooth finish and polish on top of it and then I am able to use it. So I let me bring this closer so that you can have a look. This definitely looks a lot different from day zero, but it would, as I said, it would only be considerable when you see the photo of the day zero leather and then how it kind of changed when I kept it near the window for seven days. So I also used a napkin. and i used a normal tap water i it was not drenching it was a very light spray of water on this and i used this i just kind of wiped the handles the strap and all over so that it has a uniform color i kept it on the window again so it all dried up and then you can see what how it looks like after it dried up near the window now one thing to keep a note of was while i was using the wet wipe this there was a small section here if you see here there's a small very very slight cut right i'm showing you because maybe you might see something noticeable when you do that so i ha when i was doing the the na when i was cleaning this with the napkins what happened was this is so soft like it became like you know it it became so soft and mushy that it start like it started tearing from here right so it gave me an idea that the leather is so so delicate right and so you need to read you need to study you need to understand what you want to do with your bag before doing anything crazy okay so even if you're looking at my video i would still suggest that just have a look learn from this but please do your read do read do know what you're doing with your bag before even you go ahead and experiment with all the sprays or you experiment with leather cream that you use so that's a good thing to do because this bag is so costly and you don't want to mess it up by doing one mistake right so since this first time of cleaning with a wet napkin worked for me i am doing it the second time so that you can have a look and if you feel that this is something that you want to go ahead with then it's a learning for you as well